Hi, my name is Mary Canary. I'm the principal at Irwin STEM Magnet School, and I'd like to welcome you on this tour of our building to see all the great things that are happening throughout our building. What makes Irwin unique is that we have a STEM focus here, which means that our teachers, when they are planning and designing lessons, they're building a STEM culture within their classroom through those lessons. So students on a daily basis are having the opportunity to critically think through their work. They're able to collaborate, they're able to communicate their learning, and also just be creative in the way that they're solving problems and, and presenting information. My name is Chris Leckleitner and I am the STEM Lab teacher at Irwin Elementary here in Fort Wayne. I have been the STEM Lab teacher for five years and this is my 28th year at Irwin Elementary. Irwin is so unique because of the way we've always incorporated math and science into everything we do. And now that we're becoming a STEM lab or a STEM school, we are incorporating science, technology, engineering, and math into everything that we do. So the kids become very well rounded. The most important thing is just learning some of those 21st century skills about going out into the workforce. Um, you know, anytime we can equip students with the ability to be able to be critical thinkers, as you think of them now as five to 10 year olds and thinking about them in the workforce, that's what they would be wanting. People who can problem solve, think through situations, be able to debate and defend answers. Um, building that collaborative effort, knowing how to work with others, how to accept each other's ideas, how to build from each other and, and what you're presenting, and to grow with each other in, in your ideas and, and just in relationships with others. So technology is used in the classroom every single day for students, whether they're accessing information or practicing a skill or using it for coding and, and using it for the robot robotics here in the building. So we've been very fortunate that we do have um, tools and technology tools in the building that other schools might not have. We have Ozobots for students where they're working on color uh, using markers and using artificial intelligence to be able to get a robot to move or specifically coding on their devices to be able to get it to move. Any opportunity we can integrate technology technology within our curriculum is what we're always um, wanting to achieve. So technology isn't something that we're doing just for an hour a week or something that we're doing one day a week. It's just um, infused throughout our curriculum, um, any opportunity that we can. Here at Irwin, the students come to me twice a week in my STEM lab, and we start with a whole theme where they're given a problem, but in a very unique way. And we kind of focus on the United Nations sustainability goals. And so each problem that they have to solve is based off of one of those goals. So it might be that everyone in the world has access to healthy food. That was a fourth grade goal. And so therefore, with a lot of background work, they have further developed our community garden down the street at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. And they have helped me work, add dirt, plant, water, and now we're picking the vegetables and we're donating them to the community food bank at Bethlehem Church because right here in this neighborhood, we are in a fruit food desert. And that means that people in this area have trouble finding healthy food at a grocery or at a reasonable cost. And so we're donating the goods from our garden to the food bank right there. I think what, what they love first of all is we have a strong sense of family here. Um, I get so excited every year when our new 50 group of kindergartners enter the building because I know they're going to be with me all the way through to fifth grade. So we build community as a whole school through opportunities that we do is celebrating the whole school every Monday as well as then within the classrooms and students are getting that sense of family and fa you know our parents feel that as well. We know our students, we know their names, we know their strengths, their weaknesses, we know how to grow them to become the best um, person that they can be. And we're really working on that whole child, just not the academic side, but also working on their character and working on um, you know, getting along with others and how to be the best person they can be to those around them. Parents typically say that they love Irwin. They just love how their kid comes home just all bubbly about what they've done. Um, I sometimes laugh at the interpretation of what we've done <laughs> from the child coming home and the parent will see me next and say, can you tell me what you did with Johnny's class in the STEM lab the other day? And the child will have the main gist of it, um, especially the little ones. Uh, and then I add the scientific detail to it. But they said, oh, he came home so excited or she came home so excited. So families tend just to love all that we do here. <music>